welcome i am siva kosaran from jaffna sri lanka presenting in the topic of my experiences in organizing tamil wikipedia 16 years celebrations we celebrated that in 2019 so here i am uh, presenting uh, my experiences uh, that our the team's experiences so that uh, it it can be useful for other communities medium or small size communities so once again welcome you all vanakkam that's the tamil word for welcome that's a, uh, an introduction so that that's uh, the tamil wikipedia logo so for whom is this uh, presentation this is for medium or small size wikimedia groups particularly uh, wanting to organize gatherings like uh, right now uh, with the pandemic on uh, i think the gatherings uh, are not supported by the grants committee uh, still uh, this will be helpful for other communities uh, 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 what i mean by medium and small wikimedia groups is that uh, the large wikimedia groups probably have had enough gatherings that uh, they may not uh, make this uh, useful so that's one then uh, uh, even for other groups that have had uh, some already had some uh, gatherings this learning experiences can help so a brief introduction to tamil wikipedia tamil wikipedia was started in 2003 so it's uh, edited by tamils in india sri lanka and other countries so primarily tamil is a language spoken uh, in the southern part of india and then in the northern part of sri lanka uh, in addition uh, there are tamil speaking community in singapore malaysia uh, in and uh, several other countries in addition to those uh, native tamils uh, there are expatriates uh, from both india and sri lanka because of the internal conflict in sri lanka uh, a lot of people have uh, migrated to other countries to the west to the australia and all these places that makes it uh, a lot of uh, uh, these west western countries where internet is available easily uh, so they had started uh, contributing to wikipedia Uh, from other countries also so there are about uh, close to 140000 articles in tamil wikipedia that rank 58 so it's it's uh, it's a healthy wikipedia in addition to wikipedia even other wikimedia uh, like uh, wiktionary uh, wikisource and all that uh, have a, a, a good level of uh, resources in tamil Uh, about 100 active contributors contribute every month like uh, uh, so it, it's it's a very active wikipedia so in this background we celebrated the 10th anniversary in chennai that was in 2013 that was uh, a huge success uh, so i was able to attend that and uh, then the community in india and sri lanka wanted the 15th year celebrations to be held in uh, sri lanka because uh, so that uh, the community from india can learn uh, about the the background of sri lankan community these two communities uh, although we speak tamil the, the common language they are the dialects slightly differ because of that uh, it, the there are sometimes uh, when in discussions in article discussions uh, some communities uh, community members uh, don't understand what the other uh, mean to say so in this background the indian community was persistent that uh, we should have this uh, 15th year celebrations in sri lanka okay what the issue in uh, hosting that in sri lanka the primary issue is that a small community in sri lanka so it's uh, the community uh, so, although the contributions from sri lankans is big the, the community that lives in sri lanka is quite small 
And then this, uh, there is a long travel needed for the Indian community, and not just the Indians, uh, even if anyone coming out from Sri Lanka, it's, uh, they need to land in Colombo and travel to Jaffna. It's about a 10 hours trip. So by road, there, are, uh, there, there was no airport at Jaffna at that time. So that meant uh, the grants committee uh, was not recommending that. Uh, there was, uh, there is a restriction uh, where it, the, the hosting place, uh, the venue should be uh, reachable easily. So, but this was uh, after the recommendation was made, uh, I communicated with the community and then uh, we assured that the Indian contingent is ready to travel that long distance uh, for 10 hours. So, and then the another challenge was that uh, we were trying to host that event in 2018, but uh, we needed to apply for the grant well in uh, well early uh, at least a year ahead but we missed that deadline uh, so we submitted the request and uh, we were able to secure funds for the event in 2019 so it was celebrated as the 16th year's anniversary celebrations so this is the event outline on day one we had presentations by community members so Basically, that's uh, kind of uh, uh, gave us uh, the path we have come through. And also, it was an opportunity for all these uh, different uh, level of contributors to present their uh, what they have done, things like that. And then on day, it was a two-day event. So I'm, uh, on the day, day one evening, we had a formal celebration where we had this... Uh, a celebration that was partnered with the Jaffna Tamil Sangam. That's the Jaffna Tamil Society. We we were able to uh, partner with them and do a formal celebration. A formal celebration in the sense that uh, uh, we had uh, a welcome speech and a keynote speech by uh, a professor of University of Jaffna. And then uh, we had this uh, a cultural dance. Then uh, we had... Uh, uh, we had had a couple of uh, contests uh, held uh, in the eve, on the eve, like uh, we had a new user con contest and then uh, a continuing user contest uh, to expand uh, and create articles. So for those from those two contests, uh, we, we we had the presentation. Uh, we had. Uh, gifted the certificates during that celebration. So that went well with the partnership of Jaffna Tamil Society. And then on day two, we had a cultural trip. Uh, the grants committee uh, says that the cultural trip needed to be restricted to half a day. So we were able to manage uh, to see some important places within Jaffna uh, in a half day trip. And then in the day two evening, we had discussions like round table discussions uh, with uh, groups discussing uh, the issues faced by the community and how we can move forward. So that event was a, a pretty good one that went really well. Of course, there were some uh, the things that didn't go well was uh, one of the things is that because of the, uh, the small community they were exhausted okay, i'm com coming to this point then uh, this is an image of the participants uh, of the formal celebrations where uh, there are uh, wikipedians and then uh, staff from university of Jaffna, tamil sangam and all that so it, it was a huge success and then this is what uh, we call as uh, wh what we think as success is that uh, this event helped to make the communities from India and Sri Lanka understand the differences better. So I had said that uh, there were some uh, issues while we were uh, discussing uh, some people, uh, particularly the Indian community said after visiting Sri Lanka, 
they, they are able to uh, discuss things with better understanding uh, when uh, Tamils from Sri Lanka, uh, even they live in uh, uh, Sri Lanka or outside, uh, they can communicate better. They, they can understand the things better. So that's a, a big positive. And then uh, we established collaborations with uh, the Jaffna Tamil Sangam, that's the Tamil Society, and then uh, another uh, like-minded group called Tamil Aridam. With the help of Tamil Aridam, uh, we had had a couple of introduction, uh, int introduction sessions to Tamil Wikipedia at school level. Uh, but this could not be continued due to the pandemic. We will have more such sessions uh, once the country is open, uh, uh, everything is back to normal. We hope, uh, pray that happens pretty soon. Uh, and then the shortcomings, uh, the team uh, was small. So it's after the event, uh, uh, the team was exhausted. That was expected and the grants committee uh, kept mentioning that, but uh, it was something that we needed to do. So it's like, uh, it, uh, it takes time to get back to uh, contributing to Wikipedia. Uh, but that happens. Uh, and uh, another issue was that uh, uh, the, because of uh, a lot of things needed to be done, uh, the travel back from Jaffna to Colombo to catch the bus, uh, catch their flight was uh, uh, not uh, planned well in time. So uh, a last minute arrangement made the travelers uh, feel a little bit uh, I mean, difficult to, to travel. So that was one of the issues that we faced. And then, uh, so what are the learnings? I'm coming to the, uh, see the learnings. Uh, okay, start early. So you need to start early. Uh, so it's like at least uh, a year and a half ahead. And then if the team is small, what you need to do is uh, uh, you, you have to plan things that can be done remotely, uh, that can be assigned to the online team. So things like uh, booking the flights, uh, that was a mistake, uh, kind of uh, uh, the team uh, that arranged the, the function here tried to book the flights uh, and then actually it, it was uh, given uh, the, the option was given to the participants but uh, a lot of participants didn't uh, want to do themselves so instead we could have assigned someone offline to book the flights and all that so that was uh, uh, one thing that can be done uh, in addition even uh, things like uh, a printing and certificate designing a certificate those things can be assigned to online team so that uh, the team that works at the site is uh, much uh, comfortable doing that. And then uh, the most important thing is that uh, get help from established like-minded groups. So if you make partnerships, things like uh, uh, with the Tamil, what we had with the Tamil Sangam. So if you are able to make partnerships, uh, that will help a lot. So that were the learnings. So this is all my presentations. If you have questions. Okay, I see a question where it says, uh, what are the biggest blockers to organizing events? like this okay uh, okay the biggest blocker I see is uh, if you have the uh, have a good team at the venue so it's like uh, if the team is small that's uh, somewhat uh, difficult uh, to organize so once you find a good team that, that should be uh, I mean uh, events like this is uh, easy so first the first thing we should identify is the the team that can do uh, the work that that's needed so that's important okay i have an uh, i see another question where it says uh, are you planning to repeat this a new event okay well 
uh, we would uh, like to have a 20th year celebrations uh, supposedly in India because uh, it's their turn now. So once this event is uh, over, uh, I mean, uh, this the, since already the, the team is very small, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, we could think of something similar in 10 years' time, but uh, the next event should be in India. That's uh, uh, probably 2023. Okay, I think the, the session went well, uh, uh, except that uh, it seems my screen wasn't moving. Uh, so it's like uh, uh, you couldn't see some of these slides, but I'll be sharing my slides. You can see them uh, in the event page. So thank you all for joining. Thank you again. Nandri.